the soul and heart in the middle. This is how you make a snowflake. Up your engines, here comes Finley and all his friends. Finley, the fire engine, hear the sound, the sound of his sirens. Finley, the fire engine, here comes Finley, it's time to play. Ring, 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 let's play with Finley. Clang, 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 hear the bell ring. Zoom, 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 rev up your engines, here comes Finley and all his friends. The sound, the sound of his sirens, Finley the fire engine. Here comes Finley, it's time to play. Kick it and pass it, shoot it at the goal now. Speeding all around now, we're number one. My teammates and me, we're doing fine now. Playing drug football is fun. And a crowd cheers and honks their horns. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't us, Finley. Whoa! It's Carl the Three Ton Lorry. Hello, Lois. Lyle, I'll have the usual. Fuel and go. <laughs> First the fuel, then I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Carl. Hi, Carl. How are huh? you? Hello, kids. Have you seen anything exciting on the motorway, Carl? Yeah, of course. Well, just a couple of miles back, I passed the biggest truck I've ever seen. I believe they call him Cargo Pete. I've heard the name. I don't think we've ever filled him up, though. You'd remember him if you had, Lyle. When I say he's big, I mean big. How big? Do you see how far it is from here to Suds? About that big. Whoa, that's big. You're full. Well, thanks. I'm off, then. I have a big load to haul and a long road ahead. See you again soon. Goodbye. Bye, Carl. See you later. Now remember, if you see Cargo Pete coming this way, make sure you move aside. <laughs> Woo-hoo! See you later. I wonder what Carl meant by that. Perhaps Cargo Pete isn't just big. He's mean. Huh? A truck that size could cause a lot of damage if he got angry. Look, gang, all Carl said is the cargo Pete is big. He didn't say he was mean. But what if he were? He could crush you. My cousin heard about this big lorry in Farville that wrecked a whole truckyard just because someone looked at him strangely. Yeah, right. I'm sure. That big lorry's name wasn't Cargo Pete, was it? Yes. I believe it was. Well, see you tire treads later. Be careful. <laughs> oh, don't believe him, Scooty. I've never heard of any lorry destroying the truckyard. It's probably not true. Besides, Carl passed Cargo Pete on the motorway. There's no reason to believe that he's coming this way. Hey! <laughs> the biggest truck I've ever seen. <laughs> really mean sounding horn. Coming off the motorway, heading this way. Cargo Pete, we've got to get away from here. Oh, what are you getting your tires in a tangle about? We've had big lorries here before. Yep, never had a problem. Maybe Cargo Pete is really nice. <laughs> I'd like some petrol. <laughs> it doesn't look very nice to me. <laughs> Fill her up, please. Um, uh, of course. Double nozzle fill up, Lois. I hope we have enough. Uh, I'm on a long haul, which makes me tired and a little grumpy. All set, then. <laughs> you have a safe journey now. Uh, thanks. But as I said, I'm tired. You have a very nice truck yard here. I think I'll stay for a bit and get some rest. Oh. 
Did you hear that? Cargo Pete is going to stay. What if we get in his way? We could be dented or crushed. Gang, maybe we should give him a chance. He hasn't done anything bad. Good advice, Finley. Don't judge a truck by his wheel size, I always say. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm a little bit clumsy today. I'm tired from being out on the road so long. You little trucks, be careful. Wouldn't want to dent you by accident. <laughs> Had to go and clean the fire station. Uh, um, yeah, uh, see ya. Uh, a special delivery spy. <laughs> um, I, uh, have a to catch a bus. Captain Parker, can I talk to you? That's what I'm here for, Finley. Hmm. Is everything okay? Well, I'm not sure. There's a great big lorry in town named Cargo Pete, and he wants to stay around for a while. I see. Is there a problem with that? Captain Parker, when I say big, I mean big. And he's in the truck yard. I'm not sure I follow you, Finley. What has this big lorry done wrong? Besides being big... Well, well, the thing is, what if he starts breaking things? Or what if he gets angry and hurts somebody? Has he hurt anybody? Well, no. Has anyone ever seen him get angry? No, not really. But I did hear him say he was feeling tired and grumpy. <laughs> that sounds like something a certain young fire engine I know would often say. But Dick said he heard a story about a big glory destroying a truck yard. I'll bet that's all it is. A story. Sometimes things are said about lorries that aren't true. You should judge this lorry by his actions, not by what you hear, or by how he looks. Sud sort of said the same thing. Don't judge a truck by the size of his wheels. Well, I've got to check on some leaky fire hydrants, young Finley. Think about what I said, OK? Yeah, thanks, Captain Parker. Trucks come in every kind of shape and size But listen, my friends, you've got to realise It isn't how you look that matters a lot It's what's inside of you that makes you the tops So don't judge a truck till you really know What makes them stop and makes them go Don't judge a truck, don't judge a truck don't judge a truck by its shape and size Don't judge a truck, don't judge a truck Don't judge a truck till you really know What makes them stop and makes them go That's Mr Bell Scout, I better see what the emergency is To the emergency, emergency, trucks are coming through. Speeding to the Don't rescue, worry, Kitty, I'll they know down. what to do. Oh no, my ladder won't reach. What do I do now? Is there a problem? Uh, no, I mean yes. The kitten is stuck in a tree and my ladder won't reach that high. Hmm, is that right? Poor little itty bitty kitty kins. It's okay, little itty bitty kitty kins. We're gonna help you get down. Bye, little itty bitty kitty kins. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Cargo Pete. You're welcome. Well, see you around. Pete, I uh, thought you were staying the night at the truck yard. Yes. Well, I was, but then everybody started acting so jumpy around me, I thought, I'd better just head off. We thought you might be mean. Mean? I don't have a mean bolt in my machine. I know that now, and we are very wrong to judge you like that, to think you are mean just because you are big. Well, thanks for saying that. <sighs> I suppose I should head off. Pete, wait! Why don't you come back to the truck yard? I want everybody to know what a big mistake we made. Will you come, please? Oh, I 
Suppose I could try and get my all checked before I hit the road. Everyone, back up slowly Aww. and easily. No sudden moves. Wait, you lot. We are completely wrong about Pete. He might be big, but he's certainly not mean. He's nice. I think everybody owes him a big apology. No, that's OK. No, it's not OK. Finney's right. We apologise for how he acted. We're very sorry. We were wrong to judge you just because of how you look. From now on, we're going to get to know someone first before we make up our minds about them. So, what do you say, Pete? Will you stay around for a while? Hmm. I'd like that very much. Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Uh, right, you got a glory on my team. No way, Pete's on my team. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, Billy. Fire engines rolling into town. Hey, hey, Billy, you're the fire engine of the year. Let's go, Billy. We light up whenever you're around. <laughs>